Hey, what's up, guys? It's Marcus Brownlee here from MKBHD, and welcome to another high definition video review in coordination with DroidDog.com and YouTube.com slash DroidDog. This is the first one in a while, but today we're going to be using uh, Smart Keyboard and Smart Keyboard Pro. So, an alternative keyboard for Android compatible with every single version of Android 1.5 and up, all the way up to 2.1 and 2.2. So, you'll be able to check this out and find this in your Android market. So when viewing it in the market, you'll be able to see that there is a pro version and a free version. The pro version is really nice because it includes a bunch of extra features, but you can always check out this free version here uh, if you're really just looking to try it out or don't actually want to use your credit card to buy it yet. And if you really do like it, support the developer and buy the full version of this application. So once you have downloaded and installed this application, you'll be able to go to your settings of your phone and actually view all the different settings uh, under, of course, keyboards for Smart Keyboard Pro. So go under Language and Keyboard and Smart Keyboard Pro settings, and there you'll find all the settings to tweak and change the way you use your keyboard, the themes, the way you interact with it, and there's a whole bunch of things that makes this keyboard really nice and worth paying for. One of the nice things is you can change the language, and a ton of languages are supported. This is almost updated every single day. Also, there's a whole bunch of skins you can choose from. One of my favorites is the HTC skin, but the Android skin looks almost exactly like the stock Android skin, so I'll keep that one. You can also change the transparency of it, just in case you don't feel like having a fully opaque keyboard. Also, you can change a whole bunch of things. You, you can even edit the smiley uh, on your keyboard, so if you want to change it to a different one, you can actually edit a smiley and change it from the stock Android keyboard smiley face. So that's really cool. Most so of the settings I won't go through, but you can check them out on your device. Now using this application in hand, you'll be able to tell if this keyboard is actually what it is advertised as a multi-touch keyboard. And what they mean by that as true multi-touch is you can hold down one key and press other keys and it'll still be picked up. The stock Android keyboard can't do this. So if you hold down, for example, uh, the D key on one side, other keys on the keyboard, the keyboard won't pick it up. This uh, Smart Keyboard Pro actually does pick it up, so you can hold down one of the left ones and be typing fast enough that there are two fingers on the screen at the same time, and it'll be able to pick up as fast as you're typing. I'll also go ahead and show you the landscape version of the keyboard here via YouTube search, and you can see that it looks very similar to the Android stock keyboard, although it does have features that the stock keyboard lacks, like multi-touch, etc. And just for kicks, I'll show you two of the nicer skins for this keyboard. One is one of my favorites, like I mentioned earlier, the HTC version of the keyboard, which does have some nice thumb, uh, thumbnail previews for the keys and everything like that, so that's nice. And next up is the iPhone version of the keyboard. Now, I'm not going to say too much about iPhone, but you guys get the point. It looks like the iPhone keyboard, and it'll definitely perform just as well on Android. So that's definitely something to look out for. So I have to say that overall, I've been very impressed with this keyboard. Filling it in the hand, obviously, you're not going to actually get haptic feedback unless you turn it on. But it's a nice option that was introduced with phones like the Voyager a long time ago. And it really just seemed like a nice, solid keyboard. And I gave it a 4 out of 5 in the market. And you can definitely check it out for yourself to see what you think of it. So until next time, this is MKBHD for DroidDog.com and YouTube.com slash DroidDog. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.